Hey everyone, how's it going? Azrin the Language Nerd here. I hope you are doing very, very well. Uh, welcome to another episode of Super Easy English. First of all, today, as this video is being uploaded, it is Christmas. So if you're watching this on Christmas, and if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. I hope you had a fantastic day um, filled with lots and lots of happiness. In today's video, I want to talk about some very basic clothing words in English. So let's start with different clothes that I am wearing. This here is a hat, or more specifically, we call this a cap. I personally wear caps when my hair starts to get really long. So if you look at my hair, it's almost down to my eye. Like look how long my hair is. It's really, really long. At least for me, it's long. So when my hair starts to get long, I like to wear a cap. Um, Cause that way I don't have to put hair gel in my hair or do anything to style my hair. If we go a little bit further down, we have glasses. These glasses are prescription glasses. It means that they help me see. So without my glasses right now, everything in front of me, like the camera and everything behind the camera, everything is very blurry. In other words, I'm not able to see very clearly. We have other types of glasses as well. Most commonly, I suppose, are sunglasses. So sunglasses obviously look like this, like that. I actually can't really wear sunglasses because when I wear sunglasses, I don't have my prescription sunglasses and I can't see, not very clearly. Unless I wear them like this, <laughs> which obviously looks very silly and very ridiculous. So I have my prescription glasses, my normal glasses, I have my sunglasses, and then right now I have no glasses. Another eyesight related word that we have is contact lenses. I don't like contact lenses. I don't own contact lenses, but many people, they don't wear glasses. Instead, they wear these small little lenses. They open their eye up like this, they touch their eye, the lens goes in, and then you can see without glasses. I don't have them, but many people do wear them instead of wearing glasses. And if you have contact lenses, if you go, you put them in, plunk, plunk, you put contact lenses in, then you can wear sunglasses and you can, <laughs> and you can still see very clearly. Moving downwards a little bit, we have a shirt. This specifically is a long sleeve shirt. So this part of a shirt right here, this is what we call a sleeve. This sleeve is long, right? So this is a long sleeve shirt. My long sleeve shirt is black and it has three buttons. One, two, three. Another type of shirt that we have is a short sleeve shirt. So this here is a short sleeve shirt. Why? Because the sleeve, this thing right here, the sleeve is short. So we call it a short sleeve shirt. This type of shirt as well is a t-shirt. So this specifically is called a t-shirt. Um, it says, I am a language nerd. <laughs> and so that is another type of shirt we have. T-shirts like the white one that we just saw, they are not the only type of short sleeve shirt that exists. We also have this kind of shirt. This is another short sleeve shirt, but this one is specifically called either, some people call it a golf shirt, um, and then other people call it a polo, a polo shirt, or just polo. You don't have to say polo shirt, you can just say polo. I have a lot of polos. Um, the difference between a polo and a normal t-shirt is that polos have a collar like this, and polos usually have buttons, right? These guys right here, button, button. T-shirts like this one, you'll notice no buttons, right? And no special collar, just a normal collar. Another very common clothing item is the following. Jeans, right? These are jeans right here. Jeans are a type of pants. So we have different types of pants. Pants is anything that we wear, basic most things that we wear on our legs right, on our legs, when you put our legs through here, right, this is a type of pants. A fun fact, actually, is that if you go to, uh, if you go to England, 
pants has a different meaning. Pants are actually your underwear in England. So it's a fun fact, but in Canada, pants are any kind of like jeans or a type of pants. Most things that you wear kind of on your legs, those are pants. If we go further down, we have socks, right? Oops. We have socks that we wear. When you have two socks like this, if you have two socks, these are what we would call this a pair of socks. This is one pair, one pair of socks. On top of our clothes, we often wear different types of jackets. So this here is a jacket. So it goes like this, put our arm through. Everybody probably knows a jacket, right? Put this on. There we go. This is a rain jacket. So this jacket here is specifically for the rain. So if it's raining, we wear this jacket here. This is my one of, I think I have two rain jackets. Yes, I have two rain jackets. This is one of my rain jackets. But we have another type of jacket too. We have this jacket. In Canada, it's often very cold, right? So we have a very big winter jacket as well. So winter jackets are very big. Let's put this on. There we go. This is actually specifically a ski jacket. Ski jackets you wear when you go skiing. So let's back up from the camera a little bit so you can see. Sometimes in Canada when it's cold, really cold outside, because in the winters it does get cold, sometimes you wear more than one jacket. So even though this jacket is a rain jacket, sometimes you might wear, maybe not a rain jacket, but you might wear another jacket like this. You wear one jacket and then you wear rain jackets a little bit small and you probably wouldn't wear a rain jacket. You might pick another type of jacket, but you put on one jacket, right? You zip it and then you take the winter jacket, the ski jacket. And sometimes when it's really cold, you will, come on, there we go. You zip it up and sometimes you wear two jackets because it's so cold outside, right? <laughs> So sometimes that is something we will do. Another type of clothes that we have are dress clothes. So dress clothes are clothes that you wear at formal events, maybe a wedding, maybe at work. So for example, this is a dress shirt, right? The dress shirt has a collar. There's different buttons on the dress shirt, for example, different buttons all the way down. We also have dress pants which look like this, right? Dress pants. You'll often wear dress pants and you'll wear them with, together, you'll wear them together with the dress, the dress shirt. So there's our very quick introduction to some common uh, clothing related words. Obviously we have other clothes too. Those are not the only ones, but those are some common clothing words. I appreciate your attention. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments. Um, and we will talk very, very soon. Bye for now. See you.